The Bachelorette Katie Thurston is reacting to her cringy cat kiss and we have all the details. Hey guys and welcome back to another shared news from home. We've got all the details you need to know about Bachelor Nation but before we get into it if you're new here be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always I'm your host Zachary Reality and I am joined today by Morgan Wright and Fiona Zaring. And we have the Bachelorette premiere that we are going to talk a little bit about. Katie is already dishing on her night one episode and reliving some of her favorite and not so favorite moments to watch. And the cat kiss is one of those moments that she is having a hard time rewatching. On night one, Connor B showed up in a cat costume out of the limo. He wanted to honor Katie in a way since he knows she loves her cat back at home, Tommy. We've seen okay. some pretty funny costumes over the years on night one entrances, including the guy who dressed up as a chicken, Alexis Waters, who dressed up as a dolphin and a shark. And now we can add Connor to the list as he came in a cat costume. Morgan, what were your thoughts when you saw Connor in a cat costume? Where does that rank upon all the other costumes we've seen over the years? Look, I love Connor B in his cat costume, okay? <laughs> because that to me shows that he really did his research. Katie loves her cat, Tommy. Katie is a cat lady, self-proclaimed. So I feel like it's not just he's showing up in this crazy costume to be remembered, but he's actually listening to her interests, learning a little bit about Katie before he gets there. And I mean, Katie loved it too. So I'm here for it. What did you think, Fiona? Honestly, I was expecting to not love it because some of the more <laughs> rehearsed limo entrances always make like half cringe. You know, they're memorable, but they're kind of awkward sometimes. And this was so well done. He had cat puns on deck. His personality carried mm -hmm. them. So it was actually funny. And one of the things that Katie said night one was the way to her heart is to make her laugh. And he really made her laugh multiple times throughout the night. I don't know. I was totally a fan of his by night one. Like thought he might get the first impression rose fan of his mm -hmm. and I'm really excited to see him you know without the cat costume what's his style like like all of his strategy for me totally play paid off if we ever get to see him without the cat costume because something tells me he's never going to take that off because that clearly <laughs> works for Katie I'm totally here for the cat costume I don't know if he thinks it's Halloween or if he really was just trying to make an impression but you know you might as well just put all the guys in different animal costumes like I'm kind of living for it I will say that Alexis Waters, when she did the dolphin shark thing a few years ago, that really was so iconic. But this is definitely adding to the list. And the cat costume worked because he solidified Katie liking him and even got a kiss. And whether it was cringy or not on TV, Katie definitely vibed with it in the moment. So much so that she even gave Connor the kiss on night one, which we saw. And Connor was among four guys that got a night one kiss. And Katie looked like she was really into it. Katie dished on her kiss with Connor B on Jimmy Kimmel saying, Yeah, you are him. I've never seen myself make out with so many guys. What, <laughs> what was the most, what was the moment that m made your skin crawl the most of all of the moments that we saw on tonight's show? Kissing the cat. Kissing the cat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the cat kiss got even crazier because Katie literally began to turn into a cat while she was kissing him. By the end of the kiss, she had her cat ears on, she had a little nose and whiskers, and Katie was even purring. Okay, Fiona, is this some weird fetish we got going on? Or was this like a Shrek moment where the ogre kisses the girl and turns into the ogre? Listen, I don't think Katie has like a thing for cats, okay? I think she was really just feeling playful, feeling like why not go there in the moment. I have to say, I thought the nose transfer, you know how he got his nose on her nose, was actually really cute because he had that little moment where he was so embarrassed because of course, you know, she's all done up. She's got this gorgeous makeup on and he just got, you know, a black cat nose smeared all over her face. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was really sweet. So I'm happy that it played out that way just to see that little teeny tiny moment from him. For some reason, it stood out to me. I was so charmed by it. Uh, cat fetish aside, I really liked the moment. Uh, what about you, Morgan? <laughs> 
I thought the same exact thing. I didn't think it was cringy at all. I thought it was so adorable because it's something that she's not going to experience with any other guy. I know you said, Zach, that she did kiss other guys night one, but she did not turn into her cat Tommy with anybody <laughs> except for Connor B. Um, now, I do have to say to her point about her watching herself make out with people, and that was cringy. I mean, wouldn't that be cringy for any of us? I feel like, it's just enough. It's like cringy for me to watch other people make out so um, heavily for lack of a better word, because <laughs> they went at it for a second. You guys, we cannot deny that. So if it were me, I know I would just be so embarrassed. It's got to take some getting used to for Katie to watch herself, you know, kiss all these guys on national television. But I am here for Connor B. I think he's so cute. I think his personality really showed and I believe he's the math teacher. The, mm -hmm. I think he's an elementary school math teacher. So I feel like he just wears his heart on his his fur, fur. sleeve, on his paw. Yes. I mean, then they could not keep their paws off of each other. You know, Katie <laughs> is getting a little bit of flack online already about her kissing style. But, you know, what, what did we see last season with Matt James? He didn't even, like, close his eyes while he was <laughs> kissing. So it's truly, Katie, you're, I think you're doing fine. It's not, you're not going to get it as bad as Matt James. I'm totally here for the cat costume. I love an exotic costume. I think everyone should just do the exotic costumes every single night. And other people did because there was other night one entrances that included Trey who showed up with a truck and a ball pit. There was a guy who showed up with an RV, a blow up doll, as well as James who showed up in a big present box, which he pretty much stayed in the entire night as he was communicating with guys, doing interview bites. Um, and not only did Katie kiss Connor the cat, she also kissed the ball pit guy, Justin, the artist who painted a rose out of the limo and Greg, who got her first impression rose. So, um, Fiona, what was your favorite entrance of the night? And what do you think about Greg getting the first impression rose? Okay, honestly, I'm apparently a Connor B stand because I have to say he was my favorite entrance of the night and I was not expecting it. I thought I was going to be so weirded out. I typically end up really liking just moments that feel like they have a really good connection, like someone who feels like they're being honest. So I really liked John's entrance too. I have to say I liked Greg's, like just some of those really sweet moments that didn't feel super overly rehearsed and they made that quick connection. I love those. But in terms of flash, I have to give it to Connor. Uh, and Greg getting the first impression rose, I totally was here for. I thought Connor was going to get it just because we saw so much of the two of them mm. uh, together. But Greg with that pasta necklace immediately became an early <laughs> favorite of mine. I thought it was so sweet. You could tell he was so nervous. So he there looked at the way they were looking at each other. They had such a tangible connection from the get-go. So definitely excited to see where things go with Greg. Excited to see where things go with Connor. And I don't know if I have like a fleshed out list of front runners yet. I have a couple more that I'm into, but I'm just excited to see where it goes. What about you, Morgan? Well, you know, Katie did say that Connor B was her favorite in post interviews, interviews that happened as recent as two days ago. So that clearly made an impression on her. Um, James in the present was very intriguing to me because you were wondering the whole entire time who is in that box? When is he going to come out? Is he going to stay in there the whole entire night? And what is Katie's reaction going to be? So I feel like the suspense. And then when he came out and she was totally feeling him, I think was really cool. I also really liked Michael A's entrance. You guys might not remember him, but he's actually from my neck of the woods. He lives in Akron, Ohio. He gave her <laughs> the um, locket, the, the watch. And he pretended oh, like yeah. it was a 200 year old heirloom from his family kind of made Katie freak out a little bit. And was like, just kidding. I got it at the airport. So I thought that was really funny <laughs> too and made an impression. So I loved those. Uh, you know what I also noticed about last night is that everyone's name was Connor. There might've been like three, four or possibly even five Connors. And my thoughts about James in the present, I was just like, this guy better be hot because you're going to sit in this present all night long. You're going to make this big grand entrance. Like, you better be hot. And I honestly don't think that he was even hot enough to sit in that present for the, all those hours. Like, he was maybe like a seven. Like, you got to be like Tyler Cameron if you're going to sit in that present the entire night. 
Um, but there was a lot of guys who went home last night. There was Landon, there was Marty. Um, I think about seven or eight guys went home. Fiona, is there any guys that went home that you maybe thought went home too soon? Perhaps the guy who showed up with the van, maybe? No, I didn't. I'm sorry, guy in the van. I don't remember your name. That did not work yeah. for me. I would have felt so awkward in there. Not because there's anything wrong with living in an RV, but it just didn't charm me. Um, I have to say, I didn't find myself like on the edge of my seat, one of my night one favorites leaving. It was one of those blissful rose ceremonies where I didn't feel really the sting of any of them. And I hope that doesn't sound harsh, but I feel like the guys I really liked were the guys who like got the most screen time and obviously got the rose. I didn't get super attached to too many people. So I had an easy night one. I'm sure it will not be easy for the rest of the season, but my heart didn't break at all last night. I don't know if that's so cold. <laughs> I mean, how did you feel, Morgan? No, I feel the same way. My heart did not break for any of those guys. I feel like they uh, edited the episode so that we would fall in love with the guys who are going to stick around for a little bit. And I agree with you. RV man, as soon as he started eating celery, you guys, I cannot stand to hear people eat. And celery is like one of the worst crunching sounds in the world. So I would have sent him <laughs> home right then and there. I would have said, put the keys in the ignition. You're not even coming inside for the row ceremony. So Katie was a little bit nicer than I was. Um, but I'm happy with all of her decisions. And I'm so looking forward to the rest of the season you guys i think it's going to be so Me much too. fun yeah. you know what i will say about the rv guy is that dean who lived in the van walked so that jeff the rv guy could run or drive um and i'm actually a little Whoa. sad that landon <laughs> went home boom i'm actually a little sad that landon went home he had the pink salmon suit i thought that mm -hmm. he might have gone a little bit farther but you know maybe a few of these guys will end up in paradise we've seen grocery store joe who was eliminated night one he became so popular and he was in paradise but, you know, either way, these guys are gone. We're down to 22 men left. So Katie still has a little bit of ways to go before she finds her Prince Charming. And that is everything we have to share with you guys today. So let us know what you think. Comment down below your favorite limo entrance, your front picks for the win. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because we'll be back with more Bachelorette recaps all season long. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, and today I was joined by Fiona Zaring and Morgan Wright. Our social media handles are on the screen right now, so be sure to give us a follow and say hello. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.